What's up everybody? I'm pretty stoked to share this information because I don't really tell people this stuff and I haven't really shared this but with only a few people because very few people understand what I'm talking about and I've never met one person who has had a similar experience like I've had. I've had two experiences where I've awakened this kundalini energy and experienced uh, really powerful um, experiences of joy and bliss and really putting me out there connecting to everything. And I've done um, ayahuasca many times, I've done DMT and nothing has been more powerful than this natural energy that has came up. And I didn't do this intentionally. I just do these principles and I follow these practices and it's led to building this energy so much to where it gave me a kundalini awakening out of nowhere. And um, yeah, it was just very, very powerful and really intense. So, you know, they, this is stuff has been kept secret for a long time and it's because if you're not ready for it, it can do a lot of damage, I guess, to the ego really because I guess if, you, if you're just a normal cat and you, you don't know anything about spirituality and you have this experience, it could shatter your whole world and your ego and it could um, change you. You know, I, I've met people that have done psychedelics and they're, they're homeless and it has really messed their whole world up because they're not ready for something like that. They're not really ready to see the truth. So I just uh, warn everybody. If this isn't for you and you don't really feel this, then um, I would stay away from it. So my experience was, I've had two Kundalini awakening experiences. And the first time I was, um, I was just arriving at my house and I could feel this energy rising up and it was so powerful. It was about 10 degrees outside, it was freezing cold and I just had to get in like shorts and I had to start running outside. I could, I didn't know what to do with all this energy. And I started running and it just came on stronger and stronger. And finally I had to run home. I got home and I got in my room and all of this energy bursted up. Um, they talk about in ancient texts how this energy is here and it burst up. And it. they refer to it as the serpent because it's not actually a serpent. It just that is what the waves of energy look like. They go through uh, or around the spine or up this this midsection and they go like this. It's energy waves. And that's exactly how it felt. I couldn't stop moving and it was... Um, I just basically had to, to surrender and it felt like a uh, a very powerful full body orgasm but it was just, it was much more powerful and I had to surrender and I was in complete bliss and it felt like I was dying and um, it was it was amazing, it was very blissful because I surrendered and yeah, I can't really put it into words, I think these things just have to be experienced and they're not really uh, comprehensible by our mind and the second time I was um, I was close to the mountain, so I just I had this energy rising up, and I had to drive off in nature. And I drove off into nature. I parked the car, and I started uh, I started running again because I could feel this energy rising, and it was just so powerful. I had to do something with it. And finally, I just laid down, and it was a similar experience like the the first time. And uh, I'm excited for it to happen again, but. That was my experience, and I would say this energy is very powerful, and I think it's been kept secret for a long time because I think people can abuse it in a negative way. If you start to get this power and energy, and you're a low vibrational person, you could use this in a negative way to have power over other people and kind of play with your dark side. So that is a... Maybe that's why it's been kept secret, so people don't make the planet worse than it is with this power. Um, yeah, so that was my experience. I could go more into detail, but that would take a long time. So now I'm going to share how I got there.
Okay, so like I said earlier, my intention wasn't really to have these Kundalini experiences, but for the past few years, I've really been interested in how to be as healthy as possible and expand my sexual energy. And I believe these are the things that led me there. So breath work. I've done the Wim Hof method, which is really cool. Wim Hof, he's broken over like 20 world records. And he does a lot of this in the cold and with his breath and his mind. So it's really deep breathing and it moves the energy in your body. And um, it kind of makes this energy expand and rise up. And you can experience that within just a few minutes of these breathing techniques. Um, building the sexual energy, you can do this solo or tantric sex. So with a partner really helps because you're blending the masculine and feminine energies. And Tantra means expansion. It doesn't necessarily mean sex, but conscious sex is really blending the masculine and feminine energies and not releasing your seed, and that expands the energy. And breathing deep helps this energy build also. So when it comes to sex, just you know, making love for a long time and breathing very deep, matching the breath, helps this energy to build. Also building a strong core. So basically, this chi energy that we all have is constantly leaking out of us. But when we have a strong core, it holds that energy within our body and helps the kundalini build. So, don't go to the gym and do a bunch of push-ups and grow the giant arms like all the guys in there. Build a strong core and an actually strong body. Yoga and meditation, there's a lot of kundalini yoga out there. And it's kind of strange. A lot of, um, even the yoga teachers don't really know what yoga is all about. And it's about um, awakening the kundalini. All yoga goes back to that. So meditation can be very helpful also. The Taoists say to visualize the chi in your body rising up. And it goes like this in the microcosmic orbit and you can actually visualize it and get in that state to where you're very relaxed and try to have no thoughts. And this helps the energy move in your body and it makes it to where it's not stuck down there. Because if we're always in our head and we're we eat too much heavy foods like meat and potatoes all the time, that's going to keep our energy down here. So that, that comes to the food. Um, what I did for a year and a half was I was raw vegan and I didn't really have a lot of energy at the end because I was too yin, I was too feminine. And when I started to bring in more masculine foods, not like everybody eats today, like meat and potatoes, that's if you're only eating meat and potatoes and rice and fish and all these hot foods, it's most likely going to leave you too yang. So you really have to find that right balance that works for you. And this is really interesting to me. I like to play with this all the time and see what foods make me feel this way. So experiment with your own body with that. And yeah, if you have any questions, just um, shoot me a comment. Peace out.